this is part of Arkansas Thrifters, and I'm here with another haul video. I know I just did one yesterday, but I had to go drop off some packages over at my 74th Street uh, post office, which is the only place with a 24-7 kiosk, which has that extra large parcel drop box. Sorry, there was a bug. So I went down there and dropped off some packages, but on the way I went down to Salvation Army, Savers, and a yard sale as soon as it was closing up. So this is my whole video, unabridged, uh, as I shoot it, is how you get it, like most of my videos. So I'm going to try to keep it with each area, so we'll start with Salvation Army since it was first. At Salvation Army, I spent only $8. I picked up a bunch of these little Tonka trucks. I picked up one, two... Three, four, five, six, sorry, that landed on my phone, and the phone's good. I think I lost count on one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to say six, and seven. I picked up seven of these. I got an assortment. I got the bulldozers, the cranes, the backhoe, the big old mighty Tonka truck. Uh, I don't know, seven of these. I really don't know if there's any resale value in these, but I paid eight bucks for my whole lot. It's kind of like a wink wink discount deal. So we'll show you the rest of the haul. But these were cool because I don't come across Tonkas all that much anymore. These are fairly newer. These are the 90s, but they are Tonka. They are miniature, which I've not really seen a lot of the miniatures. And uh, we'll just see. Um, second bag from Salvation Army. And I'm going to leave it over here on my pile of stuff. Uh, I've already sold a couple of these, different ones, but I always do decent with these. And this is the third one I came across in town. Factory sealed Chia Pet. Chia, 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 Chia. Yeah, you're going to get that stuck in your head. This, they usually have a little sticker. Here it is. Usually you'll see a little sticker on the Chia Pets to see when these were manufactured. This one was manufactured in China, of course, in 1999 tested August 1999 so this is a fairly old one the last couple I got for was like 30 something dollars a piece um, so we'll see how much I get this one for it is the elephant so I don't know if those are higher lower I've already sold a crook and I sold something else um, also picked up a couple 45 records uh, for all line uh, from Playboy records uh, Beach Street this could be the night uh, RCA Save the Last Dance for Me Dolly Parton and A Lady Die America's Newest Sensation 45. These are all 45s, no adapters, all with sleeves. I don't know, just random bits and pieces. Um, I paid like 50 cents for this. Uh, Man Talk, Prayers for the Man at Work. I'm not a religious guy, but I have a policy and I've recently been going into items I don't really like selling not because of moral or religious issues it's just I normally do not like selling stuff I really don't go with but apparently religious stuff sells this book ain't on there's only one up of these and it's not up for much but still I paid like 50 cents for it I'll get like 15 16 bucks for it it's not bad then the place I went to also gave me some free Bibles um, Bibles do decent, just depends on what you got. Uh, I didn't look any of these up, I just grabbed them. If anything else fails, I re-donate them. But I got the Living, paraphrase, Living Bible. And then I also got... Hold on. Pop up window. Then I got two New Testament Psalms and Proverbs. Little green ones. And then I got the Christian Life New Testament with Master Outlines. All those got me for free, so we'll see what happens, uh, what I can get for them. And then I also picked up 
uh, some of these vintage Quinkle stainless knives. These are brown. Uh, they are, I think these are used. They just have the slips on them. But I've sold Quinkle before. Uh, and these are Quinkle. They do say Quinkle Stainless USA. I've sold some of these before. You don't get a lot of money for a set like this. But they're okay sales. You know, I paid a dollar for all five of them. I may make, unless this is a very sought after design, I might only get a $15, $20 sale. But for a buck, it ain't bad. Um, when you do Quickle, make sure you get the paper sleeve because sometimes you get the Quickle knives without the sleeve. That means the person didn't take too good of care of them. If you get Quickle knives that are in really good shape without the sleeves, it's fine. But a lot of times when I don't see these knives in the little scabbards, the knives are usually super scratched up, overly used, and beat up. And that's the it for that other for a second knife. I think I got one more. Or two more. Hold on. One more. And here's the third bag from Salvation Army. I got a lot of stuff for eight bucks. Um, I also picked up a. I'm gonna say this is mossy oak. Uh, it does. I think it has the mossy oak symbol there, but it's just a nice little camo flame hat. Actually, wait. That's not camo. Yeah, that's flames. That's flames. Never mind. Almost looked like deer horns for a minute. But yeah, that's a camo flame hat. I don't know what I'll get for that, but it was nice. Then I got <laughs> a Snoopy plush. Yes, this is Snoopy in his uh, flight gear. Got his helmet. You got his jacket, little red scarf. Uh, he's complete. It is a Coles Care for Kid plush. So we'll see what um, he's worth. I just got him because it was Snoopy in flight gear. Come on. Who would not buy that? Then I got a pair of... Okay, these are ugly. But they are a clear glitter. I'm going to have to wash them. But these are from a brand called Gummies. These are women's uh, seven and a half slash eight. Uh, I think that means it's a platform sandal. Um... <laughs> All I can say is there was one currently up, and it was an orange pair. Uh, completed, none and completed of any color. So I'm going to clean these up, see what I get from them. I'm hoping it's a $30 pair of shoes, but we'll see. And uh, that's it from Salvation Army. Now let's go to the yard sale since it was the second place I stopped before uh, Salvation Army. I stopped. I didn't buy much. They were closing up, but I grabbed three dollars worth of things. For I haven't tested anything yet, but for three dollars, I got the uh, FM AM uh, Sony Walkman cassette player with a digital display. Of course, if you've been in resale, you know cassette players, CD players are all good. Um, this has also got a Rio 500 uh, digital audio player that takes SD cards and runs off of batteries. I have no idea if this is worth anything, but it was a dollar. It's a digital music player, and I've been looking, I've been kind of looking for one um, for a while now, and I'm too cheap to go buy one, because I don't care what it comes with, what brand, as long as it plays the MP3s, and the reason for that is I would like an item that plays music where I don't need to use my battery on my phone to do it while I'm out thrifting and stuff like that. And if I don't want to take my phone somewhere but still want to listen to some tunes, I can use this. But we'll see if it works. We'll see if it's worth anything. Um, then I got something that I broke my own vow doing this, but I've not seen these and before. Uh, but it is a tie item, and I normally stay away from tie because everybody knows Thai is not worth much. But these are Thai beanie erasers. This one's Hopper. I only got Hopper. Apparently these are Iwako made in Japan Japanese puzzle erasers. I have no idea what that means, but I've got four of these brand new in the box. See, there's one. And to show you I'm not just reaching down here to get one, there's one. 
two, three, four, four hoppers, all blue, white rabbits, blue jack clothes, white rabbits, all brand new, made in Japan. Uh, we'll see what happens. If all those spells and they're not worth much singly, I'll just group them as a thing of four and then see if I can sell them that way. But at a quarter apiece, that's not really a big gamble. So that was my small $3 haul from a yard sale I was closing up. I got a, a digital music player, a Walkman, and some erasers. Now let's go to Savers. Savers, haul any other drink. It's been a little warm here. Um, if you're used to the South, you know that it doesn't get too hot compared to like uh, Nevada or closer to those areas like Vegas. But even if we get like a 90 degree weather with the uh, condensation and the humidity we have around here, it makes it feel well over a hundred a lot of the times. And it was, it was way too hot outside, you know? So, uh, let's hop over to Savers and I'm not going to lie, I didn't look up most of these, and most of these were just gambles because I was getting tired I was after I just ate. So I will just show you what I get. I did some research on these, but not a lot. Um, the first item, and I spent seven about $17. Okay, the first item is a Halo uh, Wars weapon set. This claims there's 16 weapons here. I don't know, it was $2.99. We'll see. Uh, there's only one up for like 30 bucks, but we'll see what happens. I didn't look this up, but I usually like picking up stuff like this. It's a 1978 copyrighted decorative tablecloth for Garfield. Sometimes old Garfield or old character designed uh, party stuff like this does do well. I've got gift wrapping that up and stuff like that. It sits, but it's worth a little bit. Uh, then I also got a Bass Pro Shop camo adjustable hat. Uh, there's the front, and it does say BPS. I paid 99 cents for it. Oh, and I paid 99 cents for Garfield. Also got a Piranha Joe Grand Turk. Let's see, there's a the front. I looked at, tried to look this one up, but I couldn't really find a Grand a hat like this. And uh, I paid a dollar ninety nine. It's just adjustable. Okay. Then I got a bag of shot glasses. Got a New York Long, some Richard, some weird ball like ones. I don't know. I haven't ever sold a shot glass, but I got a couple up there worth a little bit. But we'll see if I can make anything. If not, I'll just put them in my booth over at uh, Sunshine. But I paid a buck ninety nine for these. Not too bad. It's like one, two, four, six. It's probably like nine or ten shot glasses in that bag. So I paid about twenty cents a piece. Not bad at all. Then the next thing I got is a beanie hat. It is a NASCAR. Yeah, it's actually branded. It's branded Winner's Circle, but it's a number twenty-four Dupont beanie. DuPont, does colors at 24. Uh, I paid 99 cents for it. We'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> then, oh yeah, you already see it. Okay, these are plastic, so I don't think they're worth much. But these are just some colorful little tiki uh, shots. They are plastic, so I highly doubt they're worth much. And they're made in China with like no brand. So I'm assuming these are just cheap party favors or something. But I'll look them up. And if I cannot sell them, I'll keep them. Even though they're plastic, they look cool, you know, for Halloween or something. Uh, uh, now, here, here, here's the end of the first bag. I got one more item out of this bag. Now, this is interesting. I think it's a, a man-made, you know, easily homemade item. But... I don't know how I'm going to market it. I know, you're like, show me, show me, if I... I picked up this little tin. It says, what is a fossil? If you look inside, there's a little bit of a... 
research there is a price tag over on this side from the original maker but the reason why I bought this other than the price was if you look here in the bottom there's a bunch of different fossils uh, there's a horn coral from New York a crinoid from Tennessee a pelican Sea pod, I know I'm probably butchering these from Wyoming, a dinosaur bone from Utah, petrified wood from Arizona, and a snail from Wyoming. It looks just like a snail shell. So I don't know what this is real. They feel like rock and fossils. I don't know, I'm not an expert. I'll look into these and ask my group, but I paid ninety nine cents for it. If all else fails, I got one really cool conversation piece for a buck. And it's just interesting to look at. You know, it's interesting. That's why I bought it. Now, I only got two bags, but I did spend a lot. But everybody knows savers. Okay, this next item was, I couldn't really uh, look it up, but it was 99 cents. It is a Disney, like Tinkerbell Fairies height chart uh, it is Disney but it's newer Disney by the looks of it um, I think it's like 2000 something I can't really tell you because they put the sticker right on top of the sticker but I paid 99 cents for it it ain't too bad if all else fails I'll put it over in my booth <sighs> then I picked up the thing a 99 cent PC game it's not worth much but I got a soft spot for a PC game, so I'll put it up for like 10 bucks and sell it like that. And then the last bit is completely as a complete gamble. And I know a lot of, hold on, sorry, it's rather hot even in my apartment. Now this was a complete gamble, but I bought it for one good reason. There's some miscellaneous toys in here, but there's a bunch of My Little Pony. I see like... Rainbow Dash and some of the older stuff and there's Cutie Pie. It may not be worth a lot of money and they may just be McDonald's toys. But if they are McDonald's toys, I can redonate them. If they're worth a little bit, I made a few bucks. And if I really don't want them, I can mail them off to a friend who collects these. I'm not into My Little Pony, but I will try to sell anything that makes money. This seemed to have some of the newer characters, some of the older characters. And I'll just look into it and do a little research. It looks like a fun little bag. It was only $1.99. So you can agree. My Little Pony, $1.99. Why not? You might make a few bucks. But as you can see, that's the end of this entire haul. I spent uh, a little under $30. And if all else goes right, I should easily make profit, not counting... Uh, counting initial investment, you know, I'll probably make like 100 bucks or so uh, in profit. So it'll be like 130 to 150 in sales. And I know what you're thinking. There's no way you can get that much for this stuff. Well, it depends, you know. Um, I'll look up the Walkmans, but Walkmans usually tend to be about 20 plus. Halo, I'll put it up for about 30, 35. This one's 10 bucks. That's 40. Let's say 60. Let's say I keep those. Let's say this is only 10. So that's 70. Let's say the paper thing is only 10. So that's 80. Let's say each hat is 10. They're going to be put up for more, but that's 110. Let's say this is 10. That's 120. The quickle is 10. 130. So you already see. And that's not counting the Bibles. That's not counting the other hat. That's not counting Snoopy. So I should easily get about $100 in profit from this. It's not a big, big return. But it's not bad because it adds a bunch of smalls to my uh, store that will move and they'll be easy to mail. Everybody knows how easy hats are to mail. Everybody knows how easy CDs and small toys are to sell and knives. You know, this is easy. All you do is wrap this in bubble wrap and put it into a poly mail or another bubble mailer. It's quick, it's quick to list, quick to ship, easy to store items. And that is like the Holy Grail of thrifting. I know a lot of people are like, no, the Holy Grail is these huge ass items that sell for hundreds of dollars. Those are nice. But if you can say, say like you take that one item, say it's worth like $300 and it takes you a whole tub, let's just say a whole tub to store it. 
what if you could store inside that whole tub, you know, a thousand dollars worth of stuff when it's, you know, this size, and I'll take that thousand dollar tub over the 300 tub any day. Ah. Uh, so yeah, this is easy to store, easy to ship stuff. This is going to be fun to look into, look to fun to research. It's going to be one good party tonight after I wake up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. It went a little long, I'm sorry. So, I am part of Arkansas Thrifters. Please have a great day and happy thrifting.